we're here at the St. Regis in Bangkok, which is one of the most luxurious hotels that you can find in the city. Let's go check in. We are at the lobby. Yay, let's go check in now. Let's check in. I want to see the room. I want to see it. Time for the room tour. I'm so excited to check it out. Let's go, babe. Let's go. Our room is this one over here, 1925. Look oh, how yeah. fancy this is already. I this know. is like so nice. This could be an LV jacket. You got a nice lamp there and a huge doll. Very good. You know it's going to be good with this big doll. Let's go. Oh my god, so excited. Mm -hmm. This view, this is the first thing I saw. What is that? Is that a golf course? That's a golf course. Oh, here's the living room, babe. Check it out. TV, couch, lounge. What's all this? Oh, oh my God. food. Dinner has been prepared for us. We got coconuts. I We've got love fruit. It. Macaroons. We got flowers. Is that a teddy bear? Is that teddy bear? Look at this teddy boy. He's going to be Jack's best friend. Look how handsome he is in his tuxedo. I would call you. Boogus. <laughs> Shout out to Singapore Boogus. Look at this banana. It's so cute and small and realistic. Look at these coconuts. Fresh coconut juice inside there. It's really cold as Ooh, well. Can I try something? Yes. Look at this. There's an engraving on it. How stark. Oh no, how's coconut? Oh no, poor. Oh man. What? How did you do that? I love how they use paper straws. Very good for the environment. This coconut is overflowing. That's why it's the juiciest of juicy coconuts. My goodness. Okay, let's try some. <laughs> I feel like a Thai king. Hello and welcome to the St. Regis Hotel. I am Lord John of the coconut kingdom. I might have this, a bite of this apple. I mean, look at this apple. Have you seen an apple this shape before? Incredible. Do you reckon Thailand people with apple products, instead of a normal apple, although they have this? <laughs> Maybe. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a strange flavor. It's like a sour apple. I feel like oh. it should be eaten with like salt or something, like oh, real yeah, Asian yeah. stuff. What is this? What is this? It's, it, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks like a potato. I'm gonna try it out. Let's go. Okay. Bitter. I don't think you're supposed to eat it like an apple. Oh. With passion fruit. <laughs> I'm a peasant, yo. Look. Okay. You know what? Just need a nice hotel and you got coconut juice all over it. That's the only kind of place I want to live in. A room full of coconuts. I love big coconuts. I love okay. big coconut. Let's appreciate this living area. It's incredible. It is so beautiful. Very spacious. So soft. So soft and comfortable. It's like you're sitting on a giant teddy bear. Wow. Here's a little study um, for all the people that want to study and have a beautiful view. This giant oh, mirror this is here. a really big mirror. I did not see that. That's insane. Anyway, onto Clap the room. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. <laughs> Put it in the air. Put it in the air. What is going yeah. on? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cheerleader. Hotel cheerleader. If you guys want a cheerleader for your room. Hi, Delena. 
This is the bedroom. This is... Is this the this bedroom? This is so big. This is huge! This is a massive bed. I think this is king size. Let's wow. feel the pillows. Oh, I love Thai pillows. Do you see that? I just push it and it molds. Imagine this was your head right now. Sleeping wow. in the clouds. Wow. Can we take our shoes off, please? Can I take your shoes off? Yeah. Okay. Can we look for slippers? Well, that's the, that's the only reason why I'm in this room. Is because, oh, wow. That's so big. That's really nice. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Did you get scared? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, here's, a, here's another one. Here's another one. Hopefully slippers. Come on. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, my Lord. Oh, you got the coconut sign? And you got some fresh Holy slippers. Holy guacamole, guys. These are LV <gasps> slippers, I swear. Oh my God, look at that engraving. Look at that, it's checkered. I love that. Oh, it feels so nice. It wow. feels so nice. <laughs> We're oh insane. We're in such a beautiful hotel. Look at this room, bedroom TV, and we fanboy and girl over the, the slippers. Onto the bathroom, babe. <laughs> Let's I'm scared. Go. Yeah. Oh, the view! Oh, we got a view here. Oh, that's a pool. All right. Oh, babe, the bathroom. You've got to check it out. Oh my god. No oh my god. way. Oh my god, I need to calm myself down. That's I need crazy. To calm down. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sink. I'm Look at the mirrors. Again. Oh, yeah. That's a nice okay. shower. So you got a nice shower here. A mirror so you can check yourself out while you clean yourself. That's so good. I love that privilege. Then we got a nice toilet in here. A phone just in case you get stuck inside. And oh, this is a nice bar. You okay? It's so beautiful. Oh, babe. <laughs> Not again. So <laughs> Don't get too teary. Get inside Look there. At these. Yeah. Oh my god. Look what at is this. This? <laughs> is that a pillow? No, is it? Is that a towel pillow? That's a towel pillow! We've never Are you... seen a pillow in a bath. That's a towel oh. pillow! That's a pillow designed for a bath. Are you kidding me right now? That is the the most comfort. I have ever seen. You can put our like hamburgers here, our food over here. That is very spacious. That's an Instagram post already. And then you can watch people swim, watch people golf. Over here is the uh, BTS station. Is it BTS? Yes. <laughs> this bathroom is amazing. Look at these flowers, this bouquet of colors. You got drinking water, a cup, uh, towels, little toiletries, revitalize me soap. I like that. What are these drawers? What are in these drawers? Ooh! Toothbrushes, shaving cream, a comb. Wow, so many goodies. I feel so blessed. We are blessed, babe. I mean, here's the room tour. I'm just gonna walk it all for you guys so you can see how big this room actually is. Not in a million years would I think I would be staying in such a luxurious room in Thailand. We truly are blessed staying at the St. Regis in Bangkok. Very beautiful. Oh, this bathroom here too. This is my own personal bathroom. I love you. We potatoes get to stay in a nice place like this. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. That was the St. Regis Hotel in Bangkok. If you guys would like to stay here, make sure you book something with them. Mm. This room is beautiful. A great yeah. place for a honeymoon. Spectacular. Celebrate a promotion. If you're killing it. Treat yourself. Or treat yourself. There you go. Sadika, Welcome to the St. Regis Bangkok. My name is PK. I'm a frog butler. We also just met our personal butler, which can do 
anything for you. She even offered to unpack our luggage or pack <laughs> our luggage if we need to. And just if you need help with cleaning the room or just pretty much anything you need, you just call her because she's your private butler for this level. And yeah, how so amazing crazy. is that? That's insane. I've never had a butler before. I know. I've only been a butler. And she was so lovely, so nice, so sweet. I love Thailand. Swadika. Swadika. Kapunka. Kapunka. We're now going to check out Central World. That's one big ass domo, man. <laughs> so we're at a Thai supermarket and this place is so busy. What is going on? I need some dishes, yo. Look at this. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? At a supermarket, really? Wow. Two dollars fifty for these tissues. Yay, so many. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. So we're getting a breakfast in bed experience right now. Let's go check it out. Open. Open up. Oh. So here's our first ever experience of breakfast in bed at a hotel. So much food, look at this. A huge, huge variety of different types of delicious food. You've got bacon and eggs, fruits, um, some prosciutto. Sorry, I meant prosciutto. No, prosciutto, that's a Jojo name. Here you got granola. Oh, this looks so good. Look at the mango and strawberries. Yum. Wow. You got coconuts in there as well. You got salmon, bagels, pancakes. Oh, it smells so good. This is insane. This is crazy. We gotta dig in, guys. We'll see you guys after breakfast. Love y'all. It's a beautiful day in Thailand, Bangkok. Gonna go shopping and eat. Outfit of the day. Looking cute as hell, babe. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Let's explore Bangkok. Yay! So we're about to take the BTS Sky Train to MBK and some shopping malls. Never taken the train here. It's called the BTS. I guess the Thai people really like Korean K-pop. So let's see how we go. Look at this electronic vending machine. Whole bunch of drinks and you use a card to pay for it, called Blue Pay. Very cool, I like that. So we've got two tickets, it's only one stop, and it costs 23 baht, which is a dollar. A dollar Australian to get to where we need to go. Easy stuff, just got it from the ticket station too. missed our SkyTrain by five seconds, but this one came in five minutes, so very fast. Very good. My review on the BTS, it was quite good. Air condition, very fast, decent seats, and a great view. Bangkok, nice train system. Center is a really big mall that sells a lot of fake goods. You can buy those Thai, those Muay Thai singlets. A good place to exchange money as well, but we're going to animate for animate. I want that! So it costs 10 baht a game, which is less than 40 cents. Let's get it. Little pink man. Uh. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think so. 
Oh. Oh my god. You know it doesn't matter which country we're in, we're gonna find an anime store and here is anime. Let's get some shoes. What I love about Thailand's anime is they sell figures. You know, Japan, their anime, they don't have sell this. It's always key rings and all this other stuff, but here, whole bunch of goodies. I love it. Yes. Japan. Yeah. For 20 AUD. How much is it? It here? is about 45 AUD here. Wow. So I've had a look at all the one piece stuff and everything here is double the price. So I probably won't get anything here. So anime in Thailand is quite expensive. I think the best place to buy anime figures is probably Hong Kong. Cheap and uh, a lot of the new releases as well. Or Japan. Of course Japan, but in Japan the exchange rate is pretty pretty tough, so not the cheapest for Australians. Uh. Yay, she got the shirt. It's the Luffy. 700 baht. Pretty good. We're at Paragon at their food Paul trying out the delicious Thai food at the food courts. One of the biggest food courts I've seen at a shopping mall. It's so big, it's quite delicious. It's gonna be a good time. Making a quick pit stop at Canon. They sell egg tarts recommended from a lovely Thai fan. So here's the main eating area, the food court. Very cheap food you. Oh, this is extremely overwhelming. It's so busy right now. So first we have to get a card at the card counter where we preload our money so we can buy stuff. Let's go. So what's great about these cards is you load up money, you use it to buy at these stores and all they have to do is tap it on so you don't have to get any change. You go back to the card counter and whatever money you have remaining, they give it back to you. How cool is that? First place we're eating at is Pad Thai Ari. We're gonna get a shrimp Pad Thai. And then next up, I'm gonna have this stewed pork leg. And look at that. It's uh, intestines, pork leg that has been marinated in this delicious soup for hours. And it just breaks apart. I absolutely love it. Let's try it. So here's a meal I always get in Thailand. It is braised pork hocks, which is basically their feet. <laughs> uh, eggs, vegetables, rice, and intestines. You probably won't like that. It has a really grainy kind of gross taste. But if you're Asian man, like the Vietnamese, you will love this, okay? Very good. But the main reason why I get it is because of this pork. I mean, it's just been stewed for hours and it breaks apart. Look at that shred. Come on now. You can't say that doesn't look good with those fatty pork skin. Oh my God, like liquid jelly. Trust me, it's good. This uh, quiet taste, you know, uh, kind of funky, but you know, with the right amount of sauce, which I didn't get, it's pretty good. But the rice, nice sauce that comes from this marinated soup. You got your delicious eggs. Look at that egg. That is almost as good as a ramen egg. Wow. And I think some sort of Thai grass. Now to orchestrate the perfect bite, I'm gonna get a bit of egg, a little bit of this pork, some rice, and voila. Amazing. Okay, let's go. Mm. My favorite thing. Only about a hundred bucks. So cheap, so delicious. I get it every time I come to Thailand. So this is a pad thai. I'm so excited. Oh wait, let me mix in the vegetables. The serving sizes are quite small and it is a lot more pricier than most places you can get in Thailand. But we're at a fancy food court. How's that? It's delicious. I don't know if this is what authentic Pad Thai tastes like, but it's very tomatoey, very sweet and very tomatoey. I do prefer the Pad Thai that we got at the floating market though, but this is still good. All right, there you go, guys. Let's eat. Yay! Egg tart time. Look, it's a potato. Oh, really? Kanom. 
Perfect. So we got two mini ones. They're tiny. Holy crap. How much was that? 60 bucks? Yes. 60 bucks for two, not bad. One is egg white and the other one is egg yolk. Let's try out the egg white first. Let's see how egg tarts compare. How does the egg tart queen feel? The pastry is so good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's delicious. It's a bit cold, but still delicious. Yum. Look at her. She's making out with her. Good? As good as Hong Kong? Ah, well there you go. Pretty good, but not the best she's had. What? Oh, she's spelling S-E-X, sending me some kind of signal for tonight. What? Anal? Wow, A-N-A-L. I guess this is the first time in Thailand for everybody. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> the um, KSC egg tart in no Hong way. Kong is probably the best egg tart I've eaten ever, <laughs> ever, ever. From KFC? Yeah. You're crazy, girl. You're crazy. So we're at the St. Regis trying out their afternoon tea experience, which is high tea. Yay. So we're just given this drink by, um, apparently it's a St. Regis drink. Very uh, tropical, got lemon, limes. So Lana tried out. I had it before, it's, it's so chilly. <laughs> so I, that, that was the exact same reaction I had. It tastes like sriracha cold water with a lot of Thai spices. I didn't even know what that was. I thought it was some sort of milk tea and when I drank it, it is the hottest cold drink I've ever had in my life. My mouth is burning. I got tricks. You got food. I got tricks. How dare you not tell me that? You just picked it up and drank it. I got so shocked. You, yeah, yeah. It tastes like a bottle of sriracha, I swear. But apparently it's uh, one of St. Regis's uh, iconic, original, some, I don't know. It's like you're eating like a curry soup or something, but drinking it. Yeah, but it's iced cold, so. Um, <laughs> oh, this is really nice. You, ha you have to try it to, to know the taste, but it was crazy. So this drink's called Sayup Mary, okay? Check that out, guys. Sriracha drink. <laughs> this is my date, guys. He's always on his phone.
Oh, déjà vu. Meet my food baby, which I just gave birth to. Boogus. That's Boogus. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And to many more food adventures, my belly is very full and satisfied. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See ya. Ooh.